Today I'm going to show you some more tricks in playing with the NS2 bar. As for now, we have the application like this. The toolbar is shown at the top uh, of the window. It is done by using the window.title visibility setting to hidden. But in some application, like the Apple's reminders, they could have made this um, top of the window transparent and then uh, still having the title bar and these controls here. And that's what we are going to do today. First, we go to the window controller that we made before and then set this to title bar appears transparent to true. Then go to the storyboard. First, um, we go to the toolbar. We are not going to show it anymore. So we can uncheck this visible and launch. Or even you could remove the toolbar. Let's go to window. We are going to check this full size content view. This means whatever inside as the view will be shown. Um, full size of the window, including the area of the top of the window. Now, let's take a look and run the application. As you can see, the table wheel on the right side goes to the top part, and I have the test view here. It is not obvious, but if we click on it, the cursor shows like there. Um, I don't want these control and the title part blocks uh, the test view. So basically, I should set an inset or a top margin to the test view. So first, go to the test view. Maybe I could fill some default text there to make it more obvious. Okay, it's there, and it is now blocked. Then I go to the test view. Um, in the storyboard, I can use the content inside here, or I can do this uh, programmatically as well. Say for now, I'm just not doing it automatically and then set the top content inset to 20 and then run the application again. Oops. So it should be like this. But when you scroll, it can still go um, below the title bar. One thing we could do is really setting the margin through constraint. Say, I go to the top space, add it, and set to 20. So it has a margin over there. Then even it scrolls, it won't go to that area. like this. Of course, in this case, we don't need the content inside anymore. Mm, so I'm going back to here. Just turn the automatically adjust again. So now we have the effect that the left side, the big test field is under the um, title bar, but for the white side, the view is occupying the whole window height. And this uh, behaves like the Reminder app. And this is um, the, uh, both the uh, transparency and um, the way to set this layout is started with Yosemite. Uh, implying that is um, OSX 10.10, .10, which um, 
is announced last year. So that's it for today.